Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time, I've got a new soap in the den. I've been waiting for ages for this one. It happened all at the sort of wrong time for Craig over at Face Fat with regards to moving from Western Australia to Over East. And it took him a little while to get sorted over there and get everything made and packaged and everything. But what we have today is Face Fat shaving soap made in Australia. And this one is iced orange. And as you can see there, it's a 2020 Toz limited edition, the Aussie White Shaving Enablement. Now, the scent on it, oh, sorry, I should also mention, this is seven ounces. A lot of soap in here. It's a heavy old tub of soap. It's gonna last a while. Now, this is the only face fat I have in the den now. I've actually sent all my face fats out to people to, to try and send them all over the world. So I'm so glad to have it back in the den. And this scent, although very, very similar to Jaffa in terms of the orange, this one is more so it does have more of a citrus pop to it. It's not super strong. The scent strength is probably around about four or five. But it is very nice. Now it is iced orange, so it does have menthol in here. I believe. Let me just double check, it's definitely menthol. I know he has been looking at. That doesn't even say menthol on you. I don't know. Maybe that, that, that doesn't actually say menthol on you. It's either menthol or a synthetic coolant. I know he's been looking at synthetic coolants, but I'm not quite sure whether that's in here or whether it's menthol that's in here. But let's wet the face. Look at that. A bit of moisture on there. While that is uh, just sitting on my face, I'm going to use the brush. Now, the brush for today, I picked this one out specifically, obviously, for the colour. Pasteur's 2017 Envy Shaves brush from Nathan Clark. It's got a 25mm black wool fan knot. It's a beautiful knot, really nice. It's got loads of backbone. And as you're about to soon see, creates an amazing lather. Now, I am going to just fill that with water, like so. Just for a few seconds, just to get a bit of moisture on top of the soap, and then straight on top of the soap with the brush. Oh yeah, it's really coming out now. It does actually remind me a bit, quite a bit of Sterling Orange Chill. Now I had that soap and I really enjoyed it. I don't quite know why I got rid of it to be honest. I think I just went through a massive phase of buying every soap on earth and had to make choices and decisions on what I really, really wanted more. I didn't. I do love citrus scents, I do like them, especially for the summer when it's hot and humid. They just zing up you there a little bit. So here we go. Now you don't need a massive load from face fat. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Now it's all essential oils. Craig only uses the best of the best when it comes to essential oils. There are no, no substitutes, no joke shortcuts. That's all he uses, all his scents are natural. And that's wonderful. Oh yeah, there's actually more scent strength now that I've added a little bit of water in here. Got some heat through the soap and the brush. I'm just rinsing the soap tub out now. Now one thing I do like about this, I know this is seven ounces, this isn't usually the amount that Craig puts into his tubs of soap. One thing I do like about this is that it came very sort of flat, you know, nice and neat and tidy. I'm not shifting anything towards other soaps, but the Australian Prime Reserve that I received recently from Dan looked really messy and the tub looked really messy. Just little things like that make a difference to me. The label is just slightly off. <laughs> you, you know what, like the labels, it does drive me nuts, but I, I'll let you off, Craig. But as you can see, there is more gap there than there is over here. It's very minimal, but it's enough for me and my OCD to pick that one up. But I'm not going to let it ruin my shave for sure. Beautiful scent of orange. Now, I'm not quite sure how much menthol or cooling agent is in this. About three days growth. certainly smell the menthol. I'm just going to dip the tips. I can feel it on my lips now. It's, I would say it's definitely menthol. I can smell it. I don't know whether it was meant to be on the label. I'm not sure. 
Now you can't actually, as far as I'm aware, get hold of this soap. This is just a, a limited edition for a group over here in Australia. It's not a very big group, but it's a pretty active group and there's a lot of generosity and a lot of good chats that happen. See the shine on that already. Drop some water into there. Which I learned from Michael Friedberg, who sadly is leaving the YouTube game. He's not leaving wet shaving communities and things, he's just had enough of YouTube that it can become tiring, it really can. Talking a lot of shit in front of a camera might seem like simple work, <laughs> but it can be quite mentally exhausting as well sometimes, depending on your mood. And I generally tend to try and come on here no matter my mood, this is really chilling me now, this is good stuff. And as you can see, no troubles lathering face fat. It's a very, very good quality vegetal based soap and it competes with every soap out there. It's got a wonderful post shave, it's got excellent protection great slickness and as you can see it's very easy to work with Stunning. Very, very cold. Much colder than the ice slice, I think. I don't have it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's colder than the ice slice. The Carve Christopher Bradley razor. Surprise, surprise. Aluminium, 3.25 inch handle, the B plate. And I can't remember what blade I've got in here now. I've got a Darby Extra. Second use. This is the same blade that I used last time that I had a crack and shave with. Let's just see how she feels on the second shave. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's not good. It really is. It's superb. My whistling's not, but the blade is. Amazing how this razor works sometimes. Like I said before in the previous video, this this blade, the quality control on the Darby blade isn't brilliant. It's reasonably consistent. But sometimes I pull a Darby blade out and it's dreadful. And then from the same pack like I have with this one, I pull another one out and it's brilliant. That slickness protection is absolutely brilliant. Super great. That scent is spot on. Beautiful orange scent, and I can smell it. It's there. It's excuse me. 
it's definitely there. I would say it's around about a five, five or a six on a scent strength once you lather it up and it's on your face. You smell it during the shave, which is lovely. The menthol feel, for me, that's perfect. It should be colder on my next application. And that really is because you've scraped the skin with the razor blade and it leaves a little bit of rawness in your skin. Very light, it's like barely anything, but it's just enough there so that your skin reacts more to the menthol coolness, cooling. Just rinse that. I'm just going to rinse the sink out because that's quite a fair bit of hair to chunk off in one pass. You dread to think what's on the other side of the drain sometimes. I'd hate to see it. Right, I'm just going to fill the sink back up and just add some water to the place. And as always, there's loads of residual slickness. Very similar to the best soaps that I've used. You can feel it on your skin, you can feel that thick layer that's left behind. chin move. I'm off for a, an MRI today on my wrist to see if we can try and pinpoint what's going on. It's a very very strange injury for me. I, I haven't, I've never injured my wrist before. I don't quite know what is going on but oh, nearly inhaled that whole bit of soap. But basically my wrist like this feels fine. Doesn't feel that like there's anything wrong with my arm or my wrist or my hand or anything. My grip strength there is reasonably good now. I can clench my hand. Now, if I'm holding something heavy like a hammer and I go like that, it's clicking now. Click. Click. It clicks that way. It doesn't click that way. But when I'm holding something heavy, I get a lot of pain. A lot of pain to the point where I almost drop whatever I'm holding, which in my line of work, which can involve the resting people. This soap is lovely. It's a little bit airy today, I've, it's a little bit on the airy side. But that's the way I've lathered it really, it's not the actual soap. You can see it's still plenty dense. I've got one weeper down here. I'm really struggling with that part of my neck. That's a stunning lather. It started actually thickened up heaps there just from painting it for a while. So I'm off for the MRI today. 355 smackaroos to get it checked out. It's, I don't get that back on Medicare. Luckily my x-ray and my ultrasounds were bulk build, which if you're not from Australia you don't know what that means, or you don't have a system like that. It doesn't cost you anything. The, the government covers it all. which during these times of coronavirus really helps. My wife's working out of Fiona Stanley Hospital at the moment. Where all of our, well, her nursing students that she's got at the moment are on prac. This blade feels absolutely beautiful. I've been talking about the Ruby blades for so long and using it for the last few weeks, but this um, this Darby blade, when you get a good one. This razor just makes it excel. I mean, I'm talking buttery smooth, like, the only way, way I could explain it to you is if you've used a straight razor, and I will admit this about a straight razor, if you get a straight razor with a great edge on it, the, the feeling of the smoothness of that razor on your skin 
cutting through the hair. There's nothing like it. That blade and that razor is so buttery smooth. It just, it's almost like it's non-existent, but the hair is disappearing. And it, it's a real pleasure to use. And considering Derby blades are one of the cheapest blades on the market, it's testament to the razor quality because I've used these blades in several other razors over the years, over the last four years. And I haven't really had any good experiences with them until this razor. I don't know whether, you, whether Craig's actually done anything with this soap, but the lather is just stunning. Menthol spot on. Top job, man. Absolutely top job. Definitely deserving of the first, well I think it's the first Aussie White Shaving Enablement soap. It might not be actually because I haven't been a very regular participant and I still am not really. I try and steer clear of Facebook in all honesty. Got a few weepers down here, but the problem is the blade is almost non existent. I'm not feeling it, I'm probably pushing a bit too hard with it. But it's not causing me any real issues. severe irritation and I'm getting a lot of pain or anything from it. I'm just getting a few little weepers from, I'm just nicking the tips off my hair follicles or where the, the hair comes out of the skin. It's a regular occurrence for me. The great thing is I've got loads of post shave products that just demolish any issues that you find. Yeah, that's a, just a beautiful product. Great soap, great scent, perfect amount of menthol. It's not too cold that people that aren't fans of menthol would get away with it, they'd probably still enjoy it. It's just a lovely cooling sensation, that's the best way to describe it. It's not like it. <laughs> I'm talking this blade up, but honestly, it's, it looks way worse than what it is. It almost does. I think, to be honest with you, I think this self isolation and not getting out as often, trying to get as much sun as I can sat out the front. It does actually play havoc with your skin. shirt on today. It was my son's 10th birthday on Saturday, the 27th. And he got his Bruno Fernandez shirt. I got mine for my birthday on the 14th of March. So I thought I'd throw, throw it on today. So I've got, a, I've got a couple of little weepers that I'm looking over here. I don't know why I'm looking over here. <laughs> the camera's here. Come on man, get your ideas right, you know what I mean? A few little weepers. There and down here. Overall, I'm really happy with it. Now I am going to finish off now with, I was going to go with some Thayer's, but I'm going to go with a little bit of the old Lucky Tiger after shaving face tonic. Now the scent on this, 
It says with aloe vera, calendula and chamomile, but the scent is pure citrus. <coughs> All I smell is sort of... <coughs> Very good. I will wash my hands after. <coughs> what the fuck? <coughs> All right. Is that, is it gone? I don't know. No, I think it's coming back here. It smells like citrus. Beautiful scent. And this stuff really does actually help me. Oh, fucking hell. I'm fucking bleeding to death, yeah. This helps with sort of soothing the skin. It doesn't help really with closing up pores and things like that, helping with blood. <laughs> but it really helps with the calming of the skin and all that sort of stuff there. I'm going to finish off with the Australian Private Reserve, but what I'm going to do is let my neck dry off a little bit, rinse my brush out, talk a bit of shit, and then move on. I'm up to 21 minutes here. You'd think I would run out of shit to see after all these years. I mean, it's pretty sad, really. I think I've got, I've got about 1,080 videos <laughs> since 2016. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. But the channel continues to grow, continues to have its doubters, its haters, its lovers, its in between us. People that like it one week, don't like it the next. Positive, negative. Thumbs up, thumbs down, you name it, it's all you. But it doesn't really change me. thing I will say is that the Lucky Tiger tastes pretty awful. <laughs> it's not a nice tasting thing at all. Right, the soap was face fat. Small batch artisan soap made by Craig Stanway in Australia. He used to live an hour north of me. He now lives like a five hour flight away, six hour flight away. Lovely, lovely bloke, and he makes a crack and salt. Now it is obviously, it's a very sort of clay, it looks like clay. And I believe that there is clay in here, isn't there? Is there, let me, possibly not. <whistles> yeah, bentonite clay. I don't know whether that's what makes the difference in terms of the colour, but it actually looks a bit like a, a sort of grey clay. Beautiful scent. It does have, it, it's got a reminiscent sort of scent of Jaffa, which is, is sort of, oh, I've got a big hair growing out of a mole there. Sorry, this is disgusting. Let's just get rid of that now, eh? Why not? That weeper's starting to close up now, brilliant. Poor shave with that lucky tiger as well, and the silk is just fantastic. But I am going to finish off now with my usual poor shave of the hour or of the moment, and it's Australian Private Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentration Serum. One squirt, which looks like that, with some wet hands, and I find this works an absolute treat. So if you're using this and you're finding it's maybe gone through it too quickly, I honestly believe just wet hands, one pump gets enough of it on you, it disperses it across your skin evenly. And within sort of five minutes, there's, there's no residue, there's nothing. When I used this stuff in its actual form, as it was with two pumps, I did find that it left a sticky film on my skin for quite a, quite a while, it didn't go away very quickly. It was probably sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes before it actually went away and my skin felt smooth and soft and silky. But with that bit of water on my fingers and my hands and I just rub it all together, you can feel it, I feel it on my skin now, it is slightly tacky and sticky, but I can assure you it will disperse and will absorb into your skin and you'll not even notice it. It'll just be, your skin will feel great. And to be fair, my skin has been feeling great since I've been using it. No real different to the codex, but same sort of thing. The brush for today, the bush, the bush, the brush, brr, brush, was Pasteur's 2017 Envy Shaves brush. Beautiful design. It really is. It looks like the ace, or the ace, uh, the spades from you, I think, or, or is it a rook? I don't really know. Envy Shave, made by Nathan Clark in the States. 
I believe this these knots, I think he still gets his knots from Peter Wolf over at Wolf Whiskers. You can see there, I've cleaned it out. There's no soap residue in there. The knot looks exactly as it did the day I got it. That's how, how you want your brushes to look. Well, I think that's how you should want your brushes to look. Maybe I'm just a little bit over the top with it, but I try it. At. Same process every time. Clean it all out, make it look lovely and new and fresh again. Same with my razor. This is the car, Christopher Bradley razor. Solid aluminium. Well, no, it's not solid aluminium, because this is hollow, the handle. But aluminium, CNC machined, beautiful black and red. I do love the colours. I would like to get it in different colours. Hopefully we will all get the choice and the chance of that eventually, whenever they find a good anodizer for the colouring. As it stands, it's my favourite razor that I've ever used, my favourite razor in the den. I've only got two in the both calves, so it's sort of it's hard to pick, isn't it, really? And the B plate, which is my favourite daily shaving plate. I do have the C plate as well, which I also really enjoy for heavier growth. I could have used it today, but the B plate, as you saw, demolished three, four days of growth easily. The Derby blade is the big surprise package of the shave. And it, every time I use it, it still blows my mind how cheap they are, but how good it is in this razor in particular. It just shaves so smoothly and so well. That's not going to be the same for everyone, but for me, I would probably say, in all honesty, out of all the blades I've got, probably when I get a good one of these, a good derby, it's the best blade in this razor, and it becomes my favourite overall shave. Finished off today with Lucky Tiger, after shaving face tonic. Beautiful, soothing, it is a very soothing post-shave splash. There's no burn whatsoever from it. It doesn't irritate your skin, it doesn't sting, there's nothing. It just seems to hydrate, makes your skin feel wonderful, it cools your skin down. If you have a bad shave, this stuff really, really helps with cooling your skin. Now, there'd be nothing stopping you from putting this in the fridge or storing it somewhere where it'll stay cooler and it'll really, really freshen up your day. <laughs> really will, it's excellent stuff. And I finished off today, once again, with AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentration Serum. Now, there is the ingredients list on the back there. If you want to have a look, pause that and have a look. It's very, very simple to use. You literally one pump the wet hands, that's how I use it, after a shave and every night. So if I have a shave tonight, I'm not having a shave tonight, but I have a shave at night, I just put it on after the shave, I don't put it on at twice at night. So I'll put this on again before I go to bed, and then tomorrow if I have a shave, after the shave, and then before I go to bed, that's my routine with it. It's absorbed. It's no sticky film, it feels absolutely spot on. It feels like you really want your skin to feel after a shave, and that, that's all you can ask for. All the weepers have stopped weeping. I've had a cracking shave. I really enjoyed it. I'm off to finish teaching the kids before I go for my scan. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.